Hi guys, good evening, and welcome back once again to The Edward. I'm your host, Eddie, and in tonight's video, I thought I would give you guys a little guide and reference point on how to get properly pumped and excited uh, for the highly anticipated blockbuster film that'll be dropping at the end of this month, Godzilla vs. Kong. You might be asking yourself, are there any movies that I should watch beforehand if I want to understand or have any idea or inkling or clue as to what is actually happening in this movie? The answer is yes, there are definitely some movies you need to watch. The good news is you don't need to watch every single Godzilla and King Kong film ever made before this. All you need to watch is three films because there are three films in this particular franchise referred to as the MonsterVerse. Now I will not be discussing any spoilers in case any of you haven't seen any of these films, that's fine. I'm just going to tell you the order in which you should watch them and which ones have post credit scenes. So shall we begin? So this is viewing order number one. And I call it viewing order number one simply because I will be doing another video later this month where I will be giving you an option or an alternative viewing order. And I'll explain that in that second video in case you want to subscribe and tune in for that. But in the meantime, this is the proper chronological viewing order in which the movies came out. Starting with Godzilla 2014. This is one that starred Brian Cranston. At the time, nobody knew this would be building up to a whole monster cinematic universe. Uh, because Godzilla vs. Kong was not confirmed until about a year later, so at the time we just all thought it was another uh, Godzilla reboot. This one uh, does not have any post credit scenes at the end, but the next one does, which is Kong Skull Island, which came out three years later in 2017. This movie is technically the first film of the MonsterVerse because it takes place in 1973, predating Godzilla 2014 almost 40 years. However, you will not be lost or confused if you watch Kong Skull Island or Godzilla 2014 uh, first or vice versa. They're very easy, very fun, very under very easy films to understand and follow. Kong Skull Island, however, does have a post credit scene which teases the next film, Godzilla King of the Monsters, which came out two years la later in 2019. Technically, Kong Skull Island also kind of teases Godzilla vs. Kong, but it mostly definitely teases Godzilla King of the Monsters. And at the end of this particular film is another post credit scene, most likely teasing Godzilla vs. Kong. I won't go into specifics as to what it is, but you're going to want to watch it just so you might have a clue or an idea of what to expect when the two big icons finally clash. Uh, and then the other interesting point to note is that there was an old movie from 1962 called King Kong vs. Godzilla. It's entertaining, nowhere near perfect, but it's damn fun and frankly pretty funny. This is not a remake of that film. It just has uh, similar, the same characters with a similar title. This one is just called Godzilla vs. Kong. Also, all these films take place, well, the Godzilla films take place in the present, and for some reason there will be a five-year uh, time jump from the end of King of the Monsters to the beginning of Godzilla vs. Kong, which apparently is set in 2024, because there was a five-year gap between Godzilla and Godzilla King of the Monsters, but that's uh, pretty much all you need to know for your viewing experience and pleasure. If you have any questions about any of these movies, or uh, if there's anything else you feel like I may have missed or I should touch on, please feel free to sound off down below in the comments section, and I'll happily get back to you. Well, guys, I will see you later. Hope you have a great rest of your night, and stay tuned and subscribe to this channel for more MonsterVerse and Godzilla vs. Kong videos that I will be posting throughout this month until the movie is finally with us on March 31st in theaters and on HBO Max the same day. Great. Have a great night, everybody, and of course, until next time, let them fight.